Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live. This is not a very long message, but it is one I think of great significance and great importance, especially in light of the fact that we know somewhere along the way we are going to find that we have entered into the time of judgment, a, a season of reckoning uh, where all this bloodshed that is being done on this earth <clears throat> is going to be required of the Heavenly Father come basically to come to an end. Uh, you know, there's only so long that he can tolerate that type of innocence of the lives that are being lost. And But in, in looking at this, there is something I discovered in the book of Isaiah that I wanted to share with you. I actually have open right now the book of Matthew, the Hebrew Matthew, where, and, and I'm going to read this to you again because it kind of goes hand in hand with the scripture I found in Isaiah 26. One very familiar, but I wanted to share both of them with you. And in, in the Hebrew Matthew, Jesus says, uh, <clears throat> at the time Jesus said to his disciples, uh, chapter 6, verse 5, when you pray, do not raise your voice and do not be like the sad hypocrites who love to pray in the synagogues and in the corner of the courtyards and pray with haughty speech. But, but men might, uh, uh, that men might hear them and praise them. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward already. So the loud, audible prayers are not what God is interested in. But he says to them, but when you pray, go to your couch. Now, in the Hebrew Matthew, excuse me, the, the Greek Matthew, he says, go to your closet. But he says, go to your couch, close your doors upon you, and pray to your father in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. All right. Now, I want to just, let's jump to the Hebrew side of this real quick. And here it is right there. Vesgur de la teja beadecha. All right. Close. The word segur means close. And close de la teja. Literally, de la, the yod right in there. There's three letters. Uh, tav, yod, and chet. That middle letter there, the yod, gives it the pluralization for the word door. Delet is a door. And then the yod pluralizes it. So close your doors, beorcha, upon your, basically upon yourself. Now, I'm emphasizing this for a reason. I, I don't know for sure. My conjecture is that your eyelids are those doors. And you're going to see why I feel this way in just a moment. But again, it's interesting. Vesugor de la teja. And close your doors, be'orcha, be, be upon yourself. Okay, and he goes on to say, as we would say in English, and pray to your father in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. Now, let's look at the judgment passage of Isaiah chapter 26. We'll go back up to verse 19. Thy dead shall live. My dead body shall arise awake and sing ye that dwell in the dust. For the dew is as the dew of light and the earth shall bring to life the shades. Hmm. Almost sounds like a resurrection, doesn't it? Come, my people, enter you into your chambers and shut thy doors about you and hide yourself for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord comes forth out of his place to visit upon the inhabitants of the earth their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. You remember in Revelation where it speaks about, um, I think the, what was it, the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about the space of a half an hour. Remember that? Uh, the only time we find in the scripture, uh, and let me pull it. I wasn't actually thinking about that when I started this. Uh, let's see. 
But the only time mm -hmm. we find that silence, let's see, be silent all flesh before the Lord, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. Zechariah 2.13, that was one. All right, so let me, let me pull that up real fast. I don't want to lose this thought here with you, but Zechariah. Okay, Zechariah, and hopefully nobody in the other room starts talking, because if they do, they'll be picked up on the recording here as well. So, Zechariah 2. <clears throat> uh, wait a minute, just a moment, guys. Zechariah 2.13, 2, that's what it is. Okay. For behold, I will shake my hand over there. Okay, let's see. Maybe it could be a different verse than this one here. Um, wait a minute, are we in Zechariah? Yeah, Zechariah chapter 2. Let me go back again, because sometimes they don't coordinate exactly right. Oh, all flesh. Okay, so let's go back. Zechariah 2. Uh, okay, it's actually verse 17 in the Hebrew version. Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he is aroused out of his holy habitation. Okay? This is when he's coming for judgment. Now, also, I think in the book of Revelation, let's see. Silence, I think, is the way we find it in the book of Revelation. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. There you have it right there. I think we can bring it up here. We can see a little bit better. And, uh, and I saw the seventh angel when he had stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer there, was given to them much incense that he had offered it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. But remember, he opens the seventh seal and there is silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. Just keeping those things in mind and we come back uh, to Isaiah 20. Come my people, enter into your chambers, shut thy doors about you and hide yourself for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord comes out of his holy place to visit upon the inhabitants of the earth uh, their iniquity, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. There's a lot to be said about that, and I am actually still really digging into that part there in verse 21. But what I wanted to focus with you on is verse 20. Come, my people, enter into thy chambers. Literally, it is enter into the cheder, your room. Uh, you could also translate that as closet. There is other places in scripture where the word chedeh is used, and it is also used as a closet, a secret place. Now, what I find interesting, and it does say chambers plural because it is. Right there I have the blue part there. Let me highlight that in yellow. The yod right there, we'll highlight that, but we'll change the color if I can. There we go, to green. That pluralizes the room or the chambers or the secret place, but it's going into yours personally, all right? So it is a singular. Enter into your chamber. Now, and sigor, and sigor, and close, deletecha, your doors. And that's plural. Now, they have over here the word deletecha again, but if you go to the Dead Sea Scrolls, and I know you guys are probably not going to be able to understand what you're looking at right here. Here the word is right here. I don't know if you can see the little white hand. Uh, it's right there. Dalet lamato tav yod chet. That's delatecha, but there's no repeat of the word doors. Okay, it is your doors. Come close your doors. Everything else is the same there. Just a little bit harder to read because of the way they wrote Hebrew in those days. Um, and uh, so that's so it's only there one time, not twice. Come close the doors. Be'adecha, upon yourselves. 
very much like we, what we saw in the Hebrew version of Matthew, where Jesus says, close the doors. Remember, he did it in the plural, your doors upon yourselves. All right, that's exactly what they do. And there is that upon yourself. All right, but what's fascinating is the, ver is the word chedeo right there, that's now highlighted in dark blue. I want you to see what that breaks down to if you take it by the letter. See, every Hebrew letter has a meaning. All right, yeah, it's spelled with the chet, this letter here in the middle of the page. And I uh, don't think it allowed me to do anything with it. Do you see that? I'm hoping you can just see my cursor moving over it. Uh, it's in the middle. If you go to the middle second row, that's, there's your chet. All right, that means inner room or chamber, just the letter chet. The dalet means exactly what it does when you spell it out, door. The secret chamber, the door, but then the resh, and the, by the way, the dalet is up here on the top row. If you're going from left to right, it'd be the second one, that's your dalet. And then resh, go down four, and there's your resh right there. It's the head of a person or your mind. Your brain, where you think at. So what I have found interesting, I've taught this in the past, when Jesus says to go to your couch in the Hebrew Matthew, lay there on your couch there, close the doors upon you, which to me is your eyes, and then you have done what? You have entered into that secret chamber Closing the door, which I believe are your eyelids there. So, cheder literally is close, enter into that secret chamber, closing the door. And now you are in where? Right into the depths of your mind, in your brain, in your head. And what's fascinating, here he is talking about his indignation is about to come upon the earth. So he tells you to go into that inner chamber. In other words, go into that deep meditative prayer, closing your doors, shut your doors about yourself. He says for a little moment until the indignation be passed, right? He literally says, Chavi, Chavi, Chavi is to... Um, that's to hide, but now it's personalize it, hide myself. Now it's personalizing it to you. I find that interesting. They didn't actually, they say hide thyself, but hide myself. Ki me'at, for a moment, rega, wait. Rega means to wait. Ki me'at rega, and for a moment, just wait. Hide yourself. Hide yourself within, inside of your own self, your, the secret chambers, prayerfully, and you wait there until the indignation be overpassed. So when that time comes and we see the indignation of God coming upon the earth, we know now what we should do. Go Lay down, just find that comfortable place that you have. But that secret chamber is within yourself. And go there, close the door, close your eyes. And prayerfully, just wait right there. And his indignation will pass while you are in the silence of his presence. I just found this very fascinating. He says, for behold, the Lord comes forth out of his place to visit. And what's interesting, see, he doesn't say to make any noise. He doesn't say to say anything. Hide yourself and wait for a moment. Don't speak. Don't say anything, which is interesting. Why? Because the scripture says, Zechariah 2, be silent all flesh before the Lord, for he is aroused out of his holy habitation. Imagine that. Hope this blesses your heart. And I'm uh, going to be sharing some more things with you either tonight or tomorrow morning one. Uh, we will be doing a Zoom meeting. 
Uh, I might post it in the link here for you as well for those of you that are interested in LifeWave. And believe me, it is phenomenal. The reports were getting back people with strokes, people with dementia, people that have been suffering with these different issues there. One brother had had a finger, almost lost it. They were talking about amputating it. Uh, recovering beautifully now. Doctors don't know what to do with, with all these amazing testimonies we're hearing. Uh, so if you want to be a part of that tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time, I want to make sure every, people have time to get out of church uh, and able to make it back home. We're going to be doing a, a Zoom meeting with our friends, and you are invited. Whether you're interested as a product or interested in starting your own business with this, uh, we've got people already starting to make a very nice little income from, from getting involved and wanting to do this as a business as well. Uh, so that's just up to you, but the products are mind-blowing and the testimonies are phenomenal. So we're going to share that with you. I'll post, I'll go ahead and post it in this link here. Uh, be a little bit later before I can do it. So the video will be up and running, but you can check back maybe later tonight. I'll have the link up and going for you. And, uh, but I'm also, we're going to be, and my wife's going to be doing another video, a little bit about some of the interesting products that we're, we're seeing with this company. That for sure, we'll ha definitely have the link. And then also on our Facebook page or email us if you want to get the link in case I can't get it in here in time. Benoon x39 at gmail.com and we'll make sure we get a link to you before tomorrow.